Hey guys, we are back and talking about reproductive system disorders and conditions for females. So let's get started. The first is going to be a Bartholin gland infection. Sometimes you may hear these referred to as Bartholin cysts. And this is when there's an infection presence within the, um, present within the mucous glands that open near the vagina. So sometimes these have to be lanced and drained, and sometimes you're just put on um, antibiotics to clear that up. Breast cancer, this is the most commonly diagnosed cancer in females. So it's important to do those self breast examinations as well as have your annual um, gynecologic exam by your provider to look for those um, symptoms, those lumps, the dimpling, the changes in your breast to um, find breast cancer. Cervical cancer, this is most common in women between the ages of 30 and 40. So this is young and it's important for us to screen for cervical cancer, which is what a pap smear does. Cystocil, this is herniation of the urinary bladder into the vagina. So this can occur from injury with, um, with delivery, vaginal delivery, and it actually causes that bladder to go into the vag vaginal canal. Endometriosis, this is when there's presence of the endometrium in other sites other than the uterus. So sometimes this endometrium can start growing on the ovaries and the fallopian tubes, even into the bowels, and it's been seen as far up as the lungs. So it's um, growth of this endometrium in places that it shouldn't be. This can cause pelvic pain, it can cause um, abnormal bleeding, and even infertility issues. So if you have a patient that's diagnosed with endometriosis, um, they may be experiencing some of these symptoms. And it is more common um, now, you'll hear more patients saying that they have endometriosis. Endometrial cancer, this um, originates in the endometrial tissue, is more common in individuals over the age of 50. Fibrocystic breasts, this is when there are benign cysts in the breast tissue, and they can increase and decrease in size, um, kind of going with their menses or with their menstrual cycle. Um, sometimes these fibrocystic breasts have to be biopsied because we don't know if they're benign or not. Um, so individuals with lots of cysts within their breast, they'll often um, have to get um, frequent uh, biopsies of these to make sure that they're not cancerous. Pelvic inflammatory disease, also known as PID, is when the reproductive organs become inflamed and infected by bacteria, viruses, or parasites. And it can cause vaginal discharge, pain, even a low-grade fever. And most of these are associated with the presence of an STD, causing that pelvic inflammatory disease. Um, next, we have premenstrual syndrome, and this is known as PMS, um, and this is a real disorder, right? Um, cramping, irritability, um, all of those symptoms that are associated with PMS, that is all real, and it kind of um, is a little bit different for patient to patient, that premenstrual syndrome. Rectocil, um, herniation of the posterior wall of the vagina with the anterior wall of the rectum. So that's where the rectum is actually going into the vaginal canal. Um, and so that's called rectocil. STDs, we're going to cover these more in the male reproductive um, section, so be sure to look at that. Um, but I do want to talk about one here that is more common um, and often more tested with females, which is trichomonas. And um, here the female patient may have like a milky white, um, frothy, bad smelling discharge. They may have genital burning and itching. And um, this is from the presence of a parasite. And most of the time the, the male that um, may have given it to the female may have no symptoms. And so they'll do a um, wet mount examination um, through the microscope to test for the presence of this. Um, but both the partner and the patient will need to be treated for this. And they'll be put on oral flagell medication. And then vaginitis is our last condition here, and that's inflammation of the vagina that can be caused by bacteria, fungus, um, different chemical irritants like changing soaps or things like that, um, irritation from foreign bodies, um, and even a vitamin deficiency or uncleanliness. 
So um, different things can cause that irritation and inflammation of the vagina. So these are just some of the most common um, disorders and conditions for the female reproductive tract. So be sure to be familiar with these and remember to stay tuned to learn more about STDs in the male reproductive system.